All right, I know I'm not the only one that's gonna run into this problem with the new Z890 motherboards from ASUS. For those of you that are used to opening up Armory Crate and just going over here to Aora Sync and then selecting whatever this stuff and then you go over to Aora FX and then you just disable the light when you start up, you can't do that anymore. And what you have to do is you come up here, you're gonna have to go through a bunch of updates when you do this, by the way, just so we're clear. You're gonna click this. It's definitely going to ask you what you want to, uh, or it's gonna tell you to update everything. You're probably gonna have to update it two or three times. For some reason, it took me two or three times. And now shutdown effect is just gonna be off because I don't like that logo right there staying on when um, I shut my computer down. It's just very, very annoying. But anyways, you don't have to go into your BIOS and all of that kind of stuff. And it's just in a different area from where it used to be, where like right now, you, it used to be in this area right here. And then like the shutdown effect, there would be like some sort of a shutdown effect in this area. But now it's that device and you come up here and you're just gonna, you're gonna select your motherboard. Let me go ahead and put it on this so that you guys can actually see it better. I don't know why it's uh, having a hard time reading whatever you just go to your motherboard it's definitely going to ask you to update it again and uh yeah so i don't really know why they ended up moving everything around it is a new platform but from what i've seen there's a lot of people um online saying that they don't even have this option anymore so it kind of seems like what asus ended up doing is uh Again, I don't really know if this is what they did, but it seems like they, with the new X8, the, there's an X870 over there, uh, and then the new Z890, they put it in different areas. So, but the problem with that is um, the people with like a Z790 or a B650 or an X, whatever, a, I don't really use AMD stuff very often, so I don't really remember what the X770, X what, I don't, I don't really remember. <laughs> I'm pretty used, I'm, I'm used to Intel, uh, but either way, that is where it is. Real quick, just wanted to say that if you would like a PC from me, my Facebook business page is linked down in the description below. I do not charge you anything other than the cost of parts, which I do in fact give you a full list of everything with the final cost before I order it all with my own money. You do not pay me anything until you see the video, the performance, the benchmarks, and all of that kind of stuff. So again, link down in the description below.